Put your hands along the inside edges of the deck and slowly extend forward. If you're doing this for the first time, start with a short amount of travel. At the end of the extension, push down on the deck and angle it to engage the braking action, then push off. With any of these moves, if you are feeling pain, stop doing it. Over time, gradually increase your extension. The full extension is an advanced level move, so take your time in working up to this. Also, you can incorporate arcing turns, which develop the obliques. Lay on your back and put your feet on the edge board. With your arms at your side, pull the deck in towards you while you are engaging your core to lift your hips off the ground. Over time, work on increasing the amount of time that your hips are elevated. You can do all of these moves either on a hard floor or on a padded surface. Work on keeping a slow, steady movement. Put your foot on the edge board, then slowly push forward while keeping your weight over your front foot. After a short amount of travel, dig in your heel to stop the deck and push off to bring yourself back to an upright position. Over time, gradually increase the distance of your lunge. During the move, keep your lower leg roughly vertical, with your knee not going past your toes. The challenging part will be to pull back after you're fully extended. To add an upper body element to this exercise, you can use a medicine ball or dumbbells. Put your foot along the inside edge of the deck, then slowly push sideways while keeping your weight over your moving foot. This exercise is difficult, so start with a very short extension. At the end of each lunge, press down on the deck to engage the braking action, then push off and come back to a standing position. On the full lunge, Lindsay is adding an arcing turn, which is more challenging. Keep your movements slow and steady, and keep your knee positioned over the deck. Set one foot on the edge board, then slowly push backward while keeping your weight centered between your feet. Start with a very short travel distance and over time work on gradually extending your lunge. Keep your movements slow, steady, and in control.
For an easier version of this exercise, put a towel on the board for padding and place your knees on the board. Get into a plank position and draw your legs in to do crunches. For a more advanced option, place your feet on the board and draw your legs in. On this exercise, you are starting with the prone leg extensions and adding push-ups. Alternating the upper and lower body moves provides a great full body workout. In a plank position, pull your feet in by raising your hips, bending at the waist, and keeping your legs straight. This exercise develops the core and upper body, as well as stretching out the hamstrings. In a plank position, and with your feet on the edge board, slowly walk forward with your hands and then backward. To make this move even more difficult, you can add a push-up after every step. This is a challenging exercise that works out your core and upper body. Keep your core tight in order to stop your hips from dropping. 